So, what are you saying? I know it seems like you are coming at you, but I can't help my feelings towards you. Tell me what you want. Marriage. Yes. I want to marry you. Just say yes and let me do the rest. Yes. Hi. Um, see, I... You mean you bought all this just to celebrate? Yeah. Huh? I'm so happy about this. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to tell Brian about this. Wait, I thought he was pretty straightforward with this. Well, you know, we have differing opinions in most things, but, you know, we have to, you know, find a compromise. I mean, we just have to. Adam's. What about Adams? He asked me to marry him. Girl? Hello, yes? That is some good news right there. What did you say, please? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I mean, do you expect me to say yes like I was waiting for it to happen? And besides, Caleb was right there lurking in the corner, looking at us. What was I supposed to Not do? I, I, and. and Besides, I have to choose between love and security. Madam, if you ask me, it should be security. Okay, fine. Caleb offered you love for all of this time. For what in return? Huh? Come on now, dude can't even fend for himself. But look at Adams. In the short while that he's been in your life, I mean, your life has taken a complete 360 degree turn. I mean, he's gotten you a job. Change your entire wardrobe. Look at you. Let's not even talk about the fancy dinners. Steady. Man is living the dream. And if he wants to marry you, girlfriend, why is Caleb even in discussion right now? Oh, hold on. My phone. He said he is right here. Well, and there goes the doorbell. Wish me luck. All right. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Wish me luck. Coming. Welcome, baby. Thank you. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh, How was your day? Oh, you look tired. Very stressful. And yours? It, very stressful too. But I got the mail. Uh, what mail? Guess, baby. Come on, you know I suck at that. Tell me, tell me, I'm tired. Okay. Let me help you. So, you know that scholarship that I've been fasting and praying about, eh? I finally got it, babe. So that means I'm relocating abroad for my master's program. What happens to us? I, I don't understand. Us. Why don't you understand? You, you have my ring. You said yes to me. <laughs> and then you just want to leave all that. Come on. That's not happening. There's no way you're going to leave me here. 
Baby, it's just a master's program. So, I should let you go for your master's and whenever you return, we can now get married. Says who? We don't have to wait for anything. We can get married and then I can go for the master's program. It's just like a year or, you know, 18 months roughly. Can you hear yourself? Look, babe, that's not happening. It's either me or your master's program. Are you, are you kidding me right now? Is, is, is that a joke? It doesn't look like I'm kidding. I'm being serious here. Look, it's either you stay here with me and we raise this family or you return my ring and go for your program and <laughs> I'm going to take my ring. You know, there are a million and one girls out there. Wait, Brian, are you for real right now? What, what are you saying? What do you want? I... Babe, I want more. Okay, okay, so I, I, I'm not enough for you. You're saying you, there are a million and one girls. So I, I should feel grateful that I have you in my life. That's what you're, you're saying, right? You know better. Wow. Well, I made my point, so you let me know where you stand. <laughs> and I'm serious about this. How can you say that? Excuse me. I thought I could have peace here. Brian, wait, wait. Babe, are you serious right now? No, Brian, you can't just peace. say that, like, and leave. Wait, babe, let's talk about it now. I'm serious. Make up your mind. Tell me. When you're ready, ah, ah. give me a call. Maybe he was joking. Joking? I know Brian. He wasn't joking. So... What are you going to do now? How can you even ask that? Like, if anyone would tell you that I would choose him over my career, I mean, come on, you know the answer to that now. I know. But I think it's something you both need to talk over. What is there to talk about? There's nothing for us to talk about now. You know the most annoying thing is that he has a master's degree. Wait, no, he has two master's degrees. And now that it's my turn to, to, to get my own, he wants to oppose me in this, in this era, in this day and age. Hmm. Something that I fasted, prayed, and studied for. He wants to be a stumbling block. Ah, no, nothing is stopping me from going for my master's degree. Nothing. I understand. So sleep over it and let's see where you are in the morning. Sleep, sleep over what now? It's... Like, it's literally, it's black or white. Like, what, what, what is there for us to talk about? He thinks he can just, uh, you know, dictate whatever he wants to dictate and I'm supposed to go along with it. No, I'm going to build my empire with or without a man. If it comes down to it. Just like that. Just like that. Hey, 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 Linda, Linda, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Good afternoon. Afternoon. What was that about? What? You made a statement. Yeah, exactly the reason I've been trying to reach you. I've been calling you, you're not taking my calls. I, I need to know where we stand in this. You really want me to pick a side here? Obviously. And then what happens? Ryan, if you were in my shoes, what would you do? I thought as much. God, you have two, you have two master's degrees. Why is it that the one, the only one that I need to push my career forward, you want to trash it? No, you can't sound like that. No, no. See, I had my, you can have your master's here in Nigeria, yeah? You know, I had my first Master's here. Right. And the second? Why didn't you do it here? 
Why are you treating me like I don't deserve good things? I want more out of life. Oh, are you saying I'm not enough now? Where is all of this coming from exactly? Look, I just want to know where you stand. Your career or the wedding? I want both. No, 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 no. You can have both. It doesn't work that way. Life doesn't work like that. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. You know what? You can have your ring back. Because I'm not going to end, end my life with a selfish man who wants to control me. I can't. I can't do it. Do you really I mean, want to you, you have all of these good things, but you don't want me to have the same. I cannot. Why would you want to do that? We're not living in the 1960s. Why do you want to control my life when we're living in the 21st century? So maybe this is where we end. Do you really want to do this? Yes. Yes. As much as it pains me, this is what I'm going to do. You can go find yourself another wife, someone who will let you control her life the way that you want. But I am done. No one is going to stop me from pursuing that career. Not even you, not even anyone from the afterlife. Have a good life. Do whatever it is that you Linda. Want. I'm sure you know what you're doing. It's my ring. I'll keep it. So, what's happening? Oh, well, I mean... What's the plan? Get married. Travel the world with my husband. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, staying here isn't really my thing, you know. I think maybe I can raise my kids here. or well, our kids. But really, I want to travel the world. Well, you know I'm not going to let you out of my sight. What does that mean? <laughs> Why not? No, that's not happening. See... I want to have a beautiful family, mm -hmm. raise my kids here, you know, so I can instill our culture in them. And who says that children raised abroad cannot be cultured, sir? Look, baby, I'm not having this conversation now. Okay? What? What? Yeah, you go. Okay, now you're going to make it an issue, right? That's what you're doing. I'm the man, yeah? Yes. You agree, right? Yes. Good. Fine. So, um, I'll decide how and where we're going to raise our family. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah. whatever. But, we? like, we can, we can compromise. Right? Are we? We can, we can compromise. I'm winning. <laughs> I won. <laughs> oh, God, I love you so much. You know I that, right? You, babe. I love you. Oh, you're a dangerous beauty to behold. <laughs> <laughs> your parents okay so you brought me here for dinner to tell me that you want to meet my parents it's not like you haven't met them before yes you have given me the reason to okay so how do you want this you want me to go down on one knee and ask you to marry me because i'm not going to do that 
I haven't seen you kneel down or ask me to be your wife or haven't seen you bring out a ring or something. So I don't know what you're talking about. So you're telling me... Never mind. What? What are you doing? What? I don't understand. So you had that all along? Were you married? I... Linda! Hey girl! <laughs> Cheers to this girl! You have to drink to this! Your girl is getting married! <laughs> Congratulations, babe. What's wrong? I'm fine. No, you're not. Don't tell me it's Brian. So I'm not going to pretend I don't know what this is. Did he ask you for his ring? I returned it. That means he asked you. I knew that guy is just somehow. No, he actually didn't. I chose to give it back to him. Why would you do a thing like that? Because, because what's the point? There's nothing else to do. It's over, Diaz. It's okay. Shh. It's over. Somebody for me. Tell me why. 
why is love unkind to me? I smile, but deep inside, I feel so much pain. Somebody tell me when, somebody tell me how to find a special one. Hey, let me call you back. Hey. Wow, you look so beautiful. Thank you. Um, do you want a drink? Let me... Hey! No, no, no. Thanks. I, I don't have time for that. Caleb, I just came to um, tell you that I honestly cannot wait any longer. I'm sorry. So, you're just going to marry him? Why shouldn't I, Caleb? Tell me. I mean, you know a woman's flower withers at even 29 when your own is just speaking. When am I going to enjoy the dividends of marriage and motherhood, if not now? Tell me when. See, all I'm asking you is for a little time. And that is what I don't have. Caleb, I'm sure there are millions of women out there who are ready to wait for your days of blessings, but... Mine is here and and I have to take it. I'm sorry. Have a see, nice life. Just see, can you Tell me why is it hard to find true love? I keep on falling, falling for the wrong, wrong ones. Somebody tell me when. Somebody Baby, I want to be okay. And how about him? Will he be fine? Something tells me that Caleb is going to be alright. He's an alpha man now. And you know alpha men don't cry. So man up, so we'll bounce back. Something in me just feels off. It's almost like I feel like I didn't try enough. I should have waited maybe a bit longer. Babe, you tried. Let me remind you again. You really tried. You think about it now. Come on, if if at this point in his life, he can't get a steady job, when is it going to happen? You see when menopause hits you and then he starts telling you that, oh, you're not pretty to him anymore. Because let's be, let's be realistic. Men do these things. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, I can't put my life on hold for him. You can't. See, you. with all due respect, I don't think there's anything wrong with you wanting to be with a man that wants to take care of you now. Adams is ready. And I am in my prime. And Adams has a lot going on for him. In fact, he has everything. Well, not everything. But well, at least he has a good job. And he wants to marry you? He wants to marry you now. Babe, why is this even a discussion? Come on. Do you want to be considering waiting on a man who might make it in life? I mean, yes. With all due respect, Caleb has potential, yes. But the truth is, you are going to wait. So are you, do you have the wherewithal to wait? Because baby, go wait too. Well, that's why I said yes to Adams. It's just that, I don't know, I don't know. I, I just feel maybe I should have just tried harder. I just hope I'm not making a mistake. You're not making a mistake, listen, look babe. This feeling that you're feeling right now, I understand. It's love. Let's, let's, let's be realistic. You love him. Otherwise, you wouldn't have waited as long as you did. He loves you and everything, but he can't give you the life that you deserve. And there's nothing wrong with what you want. So choose yourself. These feelings will pass, okay? They're just feelings. They'll pass.
You're not the bad person here. Come on. It shall make sense, Abby. Caleb, but why are you sulking like a child? See, I just want to sleep and not wake up. God forbid. You still have a life ahead of you. <laughs> what life? What life exactly? A life without the woman that I want. The woman that I love. How is this even fair? Come on, what is not fair is the fact that you have refused to let her go. You see, this new guy has been providing everything that she wants. All the experiences that she craved. Which woman wouldn't want to be in her shoes right now? You know, I saw the ass the other day and you needed to see the way she was glowing. It is so evident. I was going to give her that. I was. Can you even hear yourself talk? Was. Not like you have it right now. You know, we women at our 30s, we are like flowers. And not all of us bloom forever. All you need to do to be happy right now is to get a job. Within two to three years, God's willing, you'll find a woman who will give you peace. And then you look back and be grateful that you had to let the ass go. <laughs> two to three years. My life is a mess right now. That is because you have refused to see all the green lights that I have been throwing at you. Instead, you went for my friend. You know what? That serves you right. I don't even pity you at all. Um, see, I just came to tell you that I'll be leaving town. That's it. Yes. This man will be leaving town. I need to go somewhere else to see if I can find a man who will appreciate <sighs> me for who I am. Not some man who sees me like some cheap girl trying to throw herself around just any man. You know what? Get up, freshen up. By the time you <sighs> sleep and wake up, your heartache would have subsided. Hmm? Get up, killer. Come on, go take a shower. Hmm? Hi. To the bathroom. I'm so tired. Sorry. Get the life out of me. What? What is it? What happened? I, mean, I got this call from home that that my father is sick and I need to come home as soon as possible. Your father, babe. But I thought you lost your dad when you were sixteen. So, but, but, come on now. I mean, someone raised me now, right? Yeah. Like someone raised me. Mm -hmm, yeah, my mm -hmm. uncle. Exactly. Okay. My, yeah, my uncle. Yes, right. exactly. And you know I'm the first son and all the students are female, so I'm the one I'm the one filling that gap now. Hmm? And he's sick. Well, you you do have to go. I I get it. Exactly, I have to go. Okay. But I cannot go right now. Why? I don't have money. Wait, what do you mean? Babe, I just I just gave you one million naira last week, and at the beginning of the month, you collected seven hundred k for me. So, but what happened to that? I told you I needed it for a, for for a business. Now, I needed it for a business, and I, I have already invested it. Mister, why are you bringing up old monies? Babe, I'm 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 low on cash right now. Where do you want me to get money from? I'll pay you back now. But I mean, you don't expect me to just sit down and not do anything. Come on now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll make some calls, okay? It's fine. It's fine. Wait. I'll make some calls. How much are we talking? It's just 300,000 there. What? Why did you ask if you knew you were going to scream? Don't worry now. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll sort it out, okay? Let fine. Me, me... I'll, I'll give it to you. Babe. Babe. I just said I'll give it to you now. At least that should put a smile on your face. Say. I don't like how you make me feel less of a man because I asked you for money. It's not like that. 
that. I mean, put yourself in my shoes now. If you were the one that asked me for money, do you think I would hesitate before giving it to you? It's more like you want the whole world to know I take money from you. Babe, no, it's cool it's, I'm sorry. It's not like that now. I'm sorry. It's... I mean, I need you to know that what I'm doing, I'm doing for the both of us. Yes. I mean, think about it. If I allow my uncle die, who's going to accompany me to your father's compound to ask for your hand in marriage? Come on. <laughs> Fine, okay. <laughs> I'll give you the money, okay? Just let me get changed and I'll go drop you off, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah. But, um... Asamwa. <laughs> Babe, how long are you going to be gone for? Just four days. Four days? Mm -hmm. I could come with you. Hmm? You want to come with me? Mm -hmm. What about the business? Who will handle the business? Well, hmm? <laughs> somebody can handle it. No, no. Nah. Mm -hmm. Nobody can handle it the way you do. I miss you. I miss you more, baby girl. I miss you more. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I need to change so I can okay. just take a while and everything. I'm okay. running out of time already. Please just, <laughs> okay. just go change, okay? Okay, so um, make sure you count all those items and then um, tag them properly. You seem worried. What's it's, wrong? It's Jeremy. I don't, I don't understand. He traveled to the village to see his uncle that he said is sick and I've been calling him. His number is not with really... <laughs> Let's walk now. You know how those villages are. I hope, I hope nothing is wrong, though, because... I'm sure he's fine. Ah, okay. Text. Yeah, he says he arrives safely and he'll call me later. Thank you God. see, but you and this Jeremy, sir, isn't it high time he does the need for eh? All these years, no engagement, no marriage, nothing. Babe, I'm tired. Honestly, if I say anything about it, he will tell me that I'm desperate. Well, you need to speak up. What do you have to lose? I mean, you've been there all this while. Uh, honestly, I feel like letting Brian go was a big mistake. No, it wasn't a mistake. To be honest, this marriage thing, Seb, is even just overrated. Eh? If I had known, I probably would have stayed single uh, rather than be with someone who I hardly say good morning to. Ah, uh, you don't wish like that? Yes. Wait, you and Adams are not talking? Well, that one is his business. He can go and hope transform her for all I care. The guy's <sighs> wild is too much. Now, wow. I don't even know where I stand with this marriage thing again because sometimes I feel like the world is judging me for being single. But then the next day I'm hearing... Divorce gist, marriage problem, fights. Ah, well, I don't if even know this again. one asks me for divorce, is it not better? Huh? If he asks me for divorce, it's better. Rather than blame me for our childlessness. We both went to the hospital and the doctor certified us okay. Yet, he, his relatives and he just insults me in front of his people and blames me for everything. I'm really sorry about that. But babe, the doctor says you're fine now. If the doctor says you are fine, then that means when the time is right, you will get your child. Hmm. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. Um, Dima is in town now. Hmm? Mm -hmm. It must be really tough on her. Today, Kafanchan. Tomorrow, Singapore. <laughs> she's always everywhere. She's not tired of moving around. Well, she says she wants to come back and settle down finally, you know, get her life together, start a family, that kind of thing like settle that. Settle down. Eh, no. Does she have a boyfriend? Me. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that one, but mm -hmm. okay, well, but whatever's going on in her life, I guess <laughs> we'll find out. Oh. Oh. Well, speak of the feisty biatch, and she's calling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, now she's in town. I told you now she wants us to meet. We should go and see her. Meet, okay. Please, please, Linda. I'm dealing with so much right now. I don't even have energy to go and sit down with anybody to discuss anything. Oh. Everything will be fine, darling. Ne, come and collect small sisterly hug. You need it some more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to be going now. Let me not keep her waiting. Okay, mm. I love to have All right. you. So, I'll catch up with you later. All right, bye. Okay. Bye, baby.
Sinu ke? <laughs> My dear, I miss this town. Girl, it's <laughs> good to have you back. Ah, yes, yeah, so, you know, back to everything that I ran away from. You know, this town reminds me of my pain. My woes. You know, so good to be back to this man who threw me under the bus. That is courage. Yes, that is courage. And I'm so glad that you're back for good. Myself and Diaz were even talking about you when your message dropped. Oh, speaking of Diaz, how is she? Hmm, bro, she's fine. Is everything okay with her? You know, sweetie, I really wish that I could say that everything is alright. But honestly, a lot has been happening with our friend. Is her husband cheating on her? Really enough, maybe that would have been... <laughs> preferable i know that sounds strange but no a whole lot more how many kids does she have now uh well that's part of the issue that she's dealing with because mm. she doesn't have any kids and um her in-laws are like on her you know does that mean she's barren no no she's not barren to say it's just she can't carry pregnancies full term so what's the difference it's either she's barren or she's infertile. <laughs> and then I was the abortionist. You know what? Good readers to bad rubbish. Emma, what? Were you not there when they just looked me in the face and called me all sorts of names just because I had a fling with her cousin? Who caught feelings for me? <laughs> My dear, please. Okay, first of all, you have to understand that Diaz has this strange thing about people, oh. her friends getting close to her, I don't know, relatives or whatever. I don't know why, but also, it's not like you are any better. It doesn't matter. Anyways, you know what? I am just going to, you know, check my busy schedule and then go check on her and empathize with her. It's not like she deserves it, but it's because I am a good person and that's what good people do. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let the goodness flow now. Let right, flow. right. I mean, where is this food? Because we are starving. <laughs> um, waiter. Mm. Very beautiful. So you mean you're back for good? <laughs> My dear, I got a better offer. After everything that happened here, you still decided to come back. I don't understand. So I shouldn't live my life again because I got served breakfast. See, I mean, I am back for good. And I am not here for any kind of love talks or anything. I am here to have a fat bank account. Well, I'm Period. glad you're back. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, <clears throat> how is your husband? He's fine. Are you sure? He's fine. But that's not what I heard. What do you mean by am I sure? Pete, what did you hear? <clears throat> Nothing, no. I was with Linda a few days ago and she said you and your husband are having a hard time. Lin oh God, I hate the traffic in this town. <clears throat> oh. Hey, ladies. Hi. Hi. What just did I miss? Are you okay? No, tell me. Should I be okay? Ah. Uh -uh. No, tell me now if I should be okay. Because Dima has barely been in town for a few days and the entire life history of my family is known by her, thanks ha. to you. Ha. Mm. What did you tell her, please? Hmm? Hmm? Dima. Uh, <clears throat> not, you know, I only heard that your marriage with Adams is on a downward spiral. It's, it's not what you say. Okay? No, don't even worry about what I think. What I think you both should be worried about is getting men that will put rings on that finger ah. and get married to you. Ah. Nonsense. Wow. Ah. Ha. I'm sorry. Please don't be vexing because when I said what I said, I didn't say it 
in a bad way to mock you or, 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 or any way like that. I've always been a concerned friend. You know that now. Um, 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 yes, that, that's, that's, that's too much. Come on now. Um, okay, I am sorry I said it in the wrong way. But what you said is... Right Are you too. trying to apologize right now? Um, ah. Sorry, oh, sorry. I don't know about her, but I am sorry. Babe, I'm sorry, I beg. Ah, but that was kind of be below the belt now. I'm, I'm, to, you to get I'm somebody sorry to, too. I'm sorry. You to get somebody to put a ring on your finger now so that you she will not be talking to you like that. You myself. Are you married? Get husband. Eh? The one that you are doing, is it oh, first, you that you are even getting angry. I, the, the okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay so we start it again now. Okay, okay. Over okay. 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 oh, my dead body. Really? It's not going to happen. Really? Not in this house. Yes, really. Let me look. Let me tell you something. You cannot. You cannot stop my family from visiting. I have accommodated your family, even when it was inconvenient. And now you don't want my sisters to visit. Sisters? Please! They are not sisters. Call them home wreckers. That is what they are. How dare you call my sisters home wreckers? What home are they wrecking? Tell me! A home is made up of a man, his wife, and children. Even your Bible said blessed is the man with children. Where are the children? I can't see any. And you have the effrontery to call them home wreckers. Look, another word about my family from those lips of yours, and you will see the other side of me. The Bible said, man. That is the key word. Man. And I'm looking around here. I see no man. All I see is a boy. Because you cannot perform. If you could perform, I will carry the child. And you want to bring your family members into this house? To teach me how to live? To teach me how to operate my own home? And you have the audacity, the effrontery, to tell me that I will see the other side of you. Have you seen the other side of Diaz? I dare you. Try it! And you will see the other side. Nonsense. Four years, three failed IVFs, four miscarriages. Even I have to admit that infertility is a different kind of devil that even the toughest woman cannot hack. Stop saying that, dear. Please. You know, I used to have this deep conviction that I would never trade anything over my career, not even marriage. <laughs> right? And here we are, single and desperate. I'm not desperate, please. Really? The lies we tell ourselves. I remember you and Brian. Takes me back to when I got a job at Mikhail too. It was the biggest blessing ever that I wouldn't trade for anything. But you, you're always trading something. I assume my work ethics, stubbornness, and willingness will persist to conquer all. But here we are. Some things cannot be conquered. To think that I had all their names figured out. And I left Caleb to be with Adams for the same reason. Wow, oh. I guess life happens to us while we're busy making our own plans. I can't believe I focused so much on building my career, my empire, that I traded that for building a solid foundation for a relationship. And You know, Tim is right. We always trade something. But there are things that can never be conquered. And infertility is one of them. Come on, come on, dear. Stop saying that. You shouldn't write God off totally. Remember, he gives children. Remember the story of Abraham and Sarah. And even Anna. I don't want to be Anna. I don't want to have children when I am grey and old. I, I want them now. Stop! Do you think I want this life? 
I don't. Oh, maybe when I write a book about the lonely life of Dima, then you will know how strong my faith is in God. <laughs> Look at me. I am over 30 without a man to kiss me on the forehead. It's okay. I am... Oh, I don't even have a man to, 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 to say I love you without even uttering the words. If only I could turn back the hands of time. It's not too late, babe. Really? It isn't. I know you said that to yourself a lot. I do too. Each time you look in the mirror, look carefully. Under this makeup are few lines. Inside this bra is a sagging breast that needs the help of a push-up bra. Take a look at my skin. Gradually wrinkling. I have to gulp a lot of collagen and vital biotics. Why are you saying all of these things? I am saying this because even after all this, I still believe in miracle. I still believe in the saying that what God cannot do does not exist. Why can't we find love when God himself is love? Why can't she bear kids when God said, come into the world and multiply and be fruitful? Yes. As long as the earth breathes and as long as the sun shines, there is hope. Do not give up, my friend. Don't. <laughs> okay yes. you're gonna be okay it's okay let me have the keys you did the right thing by asking your sister not to come here anymore can you just open the gates? Maybe you should look carefully at yourself the next time you prance past your reflection. Behind this makeup are a few lines and wrinkles. Underneath this bra are sagging breasts, aided only by a push-up bra. No. I'm good. I'm truly good. And who says that we can't find love when God is love? I'm good. So good to see you. This is mine. Long time. 
Right? Oh my God, life is really taking good care of you. See how good you look. <laughs> I could say the same about you. Mm. I was trying to reach you when I left. I couldn't. Um, you know, I changed my line. So, what point is it coming back to you know people who do not care about me? I just had to let my past be my past, and you were part of my past. Uh huh. <laughs> well, your past is standing right in front of you right now. Mm, right. So how's it been? You look good. Your kids, your husband, how's it going? Uh, <laughs> Am I missing something? Um, no. But family is fine um i think my husband should be somewhere in the world waiting for me to find him and as for my kids they are still in heaven <laughs> okay so, tell me how come you are in town and diaz didn't mention De how is she how's diaz <sighs> caleb she's not fine like oh. life is really dealing with diaz wow. and uh in-laws have branded her the barren witch and it's just been a lot going on with her actually wow mm. that's sad so tell me, are you part of those men who hide their wedding rings when they're in town? Oh, oh, come on, I'm single. Oh, so am I. <laughs> but anyways, I'm taking, you know, single for taking. Um, uh, yeah, I have a fiance. Oh. I'm actually in town with her. I came to pick up some stuff for her. That's why I'm here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> If you don't mind, maybe I could get your number. I'm, I'm sure Diaz wants to, you know, talk to you. Oh, come on. Oh, time's sake. <laughs> nah, I don't think that's necessary, okay? Co no come need. on, come on. It's nothing. We should just hang out over the weekend and then invite Diaz. It will be some sort of reunion, you know? <laughs> well, you have your ways all the time. <laughs> Let me give you one. All right, all sure. Right. Uh, one minute. Yeah. Okay. You so, look really good. Thank you. Uh, uh, well, um, I'll uh, holler at you, all right? All right, so just, um, we should just hang out over the weekend. Then. No problem. Just all call right. me, then I'll call you back. Sure, sure. All right? All it's right. good to see you. Yeah. All right. Bye. Uh, Take care. Oh, okay. I'll follow you. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you needed to see him. Girlfriend, Caleb looks so good. Yes, your Caleb has life. At his back call. But guess what? What? Um, the guy is single. Though he has a girlfriend, but not like he's married. That's what he said. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? I don't understand. Don't you want her to be happy? Happy that what? I don't understand. At least the news of your ex lover should at least excite you. <laughs> Can you listen to yourself? Mm -hmm. You sound like a clown. Wait, so what, what you're saying is that because her ex-lover has come into town and he's now doing well or whatever, she should dump her marriage and run into his arms? No. What's wrong with you now? No, that's not true. At least, what changes the fact that they both had something before? So? Adima, I am married. Thank you. If anyone should be concerned about lovelessness and singleness, it is you, not me. Besides, he told me how you threw yourself at him back then. Oh? Oh, what? Wow. Was that what he told you? Is it a lie? Uh, well, I'm not surprised. He talks too much and cries like a baby. So Yet, you wanted to kill yourself then. <laughs> um, well, I thought it was worth me then. Mm -hmm. But thank God I dodged the bullet. And then you, talking about marriage. You know, it is one thing to be married. It's another to be happily married. You know, as for me... I want to be happily married. Not after all these years of tantrum, I end up in a frustrated marriage. Bas okay, okay, hey. okay, okay, wait. You're Why? trying to throw shades at me. Premium umbrella. No, I am not trying to throw shades, but that's the truth. Trust me. But baby girl, I am 34. And trust me, I am not going to end up in a loveless marriage. Not after all these years. I'd rather remain single. Or better still, you know, get a spam donor. Because really... Who marriage really helps? Oh, shit. Okay. Have you seen the angle? Have you seen this angle My now? Things. Have you seen the angle she's taken to? Okay. 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 Why do you hate me this much? Why do I hate you? You're so funny. Adams, you and I both know it's not my fault that I can't bear children. 
and what you expect me to say. With this your despicable and irritating attitude, what do you expect from people? People? Adams, why are you beating around the bush? It's your family we're talking about here. My family? Need I remind you that it is only normal that my parents expect grandkids? Or you think I don't want children? But I am not God! And I keep telling them over and over again, but you insisting that they shouldn't step a foot in this house. I hope you know same applies to your family. Excuse me? <laughs> You heard me. It's 50-50. My sister is in a hotel right now because she can't stay here. And from there, she will leave to the house. Same applies to your family, including your parents. What? Call me petty. I care less. I've said enough. Please, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. Linda, can you imagine? Hmm? What? <laughs> Titi, please go and fix that rack for me. Finn? He won't stop calling. <sighs> what is it, Finn? Hey, big sis. Guess what? What? I'm in front of your house. And there's nobody here. I thought you said there's always someone around. Which house? Your house now. Nah. Do you have to? Don't move. Just stay there. I'll be right there. <sighs> Can you imagine? Uh, what's going on? He's in town and he's in front of my house. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's good. I mean... He's coming to visit, so why are you acting like your past is coming to haunt you? He's my brother? Yeah, which is why you should be happy that he's around. Well, you remember, Adam, Adams and I made a pact not to let family members come and... <laughs> uh, no, actually, sweetie, Adams did not do anything. You made the rules, so you have to dance to the team, unfortunately. Whose side are you on? I'm on your side! Please, help me watch the store. I need to go. Stop freaking out. Titi, my shoe. Where's my shoe? Where's my bag? Hey, this boy will kill me. Oh. Hey, I don't understand. How can you just leave, leave Port Harcourt and just come straight to Lagos? Just, Titi! Relax, relax. You should bring my sleep. What are you doing here? I missed my big sis. Yes, yeah, so why did you come? Why did you come without informing me? Don't tell me. Don't tell me you've not been seeing my calls. I've been trying to call you well, now. Well, I've been busy doing important stuff. Do I have to pick your calls? Look, sis, I am I am tired. I had a very long day. Can I just at least go inside and freshen up and have a nap? Oh, well, that's not happening. You're not staying here. Thank God your husband is even back. You're not staying here. Sis, I can't just go back to PH like that. Well, that serves you right. Next time, before you visit someone, you make sure you call. And if the person doesn't pick your call, it means there's trouble in paradise. Is everything really all right, sis? Get into the car. Get your bag and get into the car. So what are you going to do? What do you mean, what am I going to do? I'll take him to a hotel and pay for the night. Okay, then what happens after the night? He will go back to wherever it is he came from. Ah. Yeah, as realistic. You know that's not going to happen. He literally told you that he was coming here to spend some time. Uh, well, he's done spending the while. He has to go back to Potakot where he came from. And first thing tomorrow morning. Ah. Madam? Come now, do you expect him to literally sit in a bus for 24 hours when he did that already? 
At least book him a flight. Let him go back. It's within your purview. And besides, what is he going back to Port Harcourt to do? It's not as if he even has a job. Hey, place. he should go back to job hunting. After all, he's familiar with the terrain. Please, babe. PH is not as happening as this place now. Let him stay here. There are a lot of opportunities. And you will continue to foot that bill? Eh? Will you continue to foot the bill? Because I can't. I, I don't even have that kind of money to waste on, 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 such, on such frivolities, to be honest. Unless you want to accommodate him and take his bills, Come then on. no problem. No vex. Ah. Uh, how about that? How about what? Let him stay with you. Huh? Accommodate him. Y yes, I mean, babe, you have space now. Yeah. Just, just, just for a little while. I'll find him a place and, you know, I'll set him up. And, and, but for now, let him just stay. Um, Diaz, when I was saying all that stuff I was saying, I, I didn't, in fact, I didn't even think about myself in the equation at all because, wait, hold on. How long is this while that we're talking? Because, you know, Jeremy comes around, right? Okay, maybe like a week, I, at most two. Listen, if Jeremy gives you grief, just tell him he's my brother. And if he wants to argue, call me. I'll speak with him, please. Well, I mean, I guess, oh, hold on. Oh, uh, Dima says she's coming here. She just sent me a message. Please, I don't have energy for Dima right now. Honestly, I have things to sort out. Okay, you need to sort those things out. I need to go home, well. I guess he needs to get his things. So, yeah, thanks. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Finn, let's go. Yeah, my back is here. Okay. Titi, please, watch the store. I'm out. Sis, is that what you're saying? Yes, it's what I'm saying. I mean, you should be glad she's letting you stay here. If you're not comfortable, you let me know. You can stay one night and tomorrow you take the next available bus back to Port Harcourt. Just like that? Yes, just like that. Sis, are you being serious right now? <laughs> Do I look like I'm joking? Psst. Babe, thank you so much. Yes, darling. I'm leaving. Take care. Thank you. I really appreciate Go this. <laughs> okay. Bye. Well, I can show you the guest room. Thank you. You can even have it all to yourself. Thank you. Sure. Babe, come back here. What is it? Really? You came back, walked past me, without saying a word, and all you could say is, what is it? Listen, I haven't got energy. To be honest, what exactly do you expect me to say? Nothing. Your brother, where is he? I got him a place, since he can't stay here with us. Well, I'm glad you did. When this becomes a family issue, do remind him that this is all you're doing. You know, it's quite unfortunate that I cannot turn the hands of clock back. But in my next life, I'll be sure to run away from anything or anyone that looks exactly like you. Really? Yes, really. I'd rather stay unmarried than be married to someone like you. Excuse me. I would have uttered words, but I'll save it for the future. The food is nice. Thank you. <clears throat> Can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, you know, my sister can really be very secretive. So, mm -hmm. like, do you have an idea how long she's been having issues with Brother Adams? Finn, as much as I would love to give you the answers that you seek, the best person in that position to do it is your sister. So when she's ready, she'll tell you everything. Okay? Thanks for the food. <laughs> You're welcome.
Um, you, you can have more in the kitchen if you want. Thank you. Sure. He's in here. Good morning, sister. Oh, hey, Finn. Morning. morning. How was your night? It was good. How was yours? It was good. It was great. Uh, I'm I'm heading out to work right now. I don't know if you're doing anything. You going out? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, just want to link up with a few friends, see what the city is like too. Oh, it's a big city. Trust me. You are not going to get enough of this place. I promise. But I hope you can get around town though. Well, I try. Besides, I have a few friends around, hmm. and then one of the reasons I actually came was that a friend of mine invited me for her wedding. So. Oh, her, a, an ex girlfriend. Well, kind of, yeah, but we, we just chose to be friends later. Okay, that sounds like gist, but I don't have time for that right now. I have to head to work, but I can, you know, but you can tell me all about it when I get back. In the meantime, enjoy Lagos. Have fun. Thank you, okay. Sister Lydia. Yeah. Oh, oh hey, um, I think that, uh, uh, let me see. Hold on, hold on a second. This should just help, you know, some stuff. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing. Have fun and enjoy the day, okay? I'll see you later. You just walked in, you're asking me who I am. I should be the one asking. <laughs> oh, God. She's my fiance, Linda. So, what are you doing in my fiance's um, house? Um, I'm Finn. And? Um, I'm Diaz's younger brother. Still doesn't answer my question. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Start talking. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, hey, V. You're here. You didn't. You didn't tell me that you were coming. Wait, what's? I it? wanted to surprise you. How are you? I'm. I'm fine. Hey. And who is it? Oh, um, uh, this is Diaz's younger brother. No. And what is he doing here? Okay, babe. You're asking a lot of questions. He's here for a while. Okay, I just don't ask why. Just let's go. Come on. You just go here. You need to refresh. And I forgot a file, so I'm just gonna grab it and you know. Come on, let's go, baby. It's good to see you. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry! Can I? I'm late. So how is your trip, baby? What are you doing here? I stay around here. You live around here? Yeah. Um, well, this weather is not looking too good though. Yeah, I was trying to book a ride but it declined, so I'm trying to get another one. Where are you headed? Just wanna go grab some drinks with my friends, you know, catching up on old times. Come on, hop in. Are you sure that's a good idea? Come on, trust me, hop in, let me give you a ride. Alright. Look, man, I will never do that to her or any member of your family. You actually said you don't want to see her family members around. <laughs> Me? Uh, wait, is that what she said? Yeah, and her friend, Sister Linda, even confirmed it. Look, your sister made the rules, and she couldn't change them when you said you were coming. I guess she forgot she also lived in the glass house. All these things wouldn't have happened if she had just taken my calls. Anyways, Sister Linda has been accommodating so far. 
Wait, what? Linda, you stay at her place. Please don't tell my sister I told you this. Uh, trust me, I haven't seen you got into town. Cheers to that. My man. <laughs> mm. I have to go now. Oh. Um, I don't know, just... <clears throat> Thanks, brother. Hello. Okay. Oh, wow, your girlfriend is pretty. She's just my friend. And she's a girl, and she's pretty. <laughs> she's... Hey, hey, what's up? Good. How's it going? I'm fine. You look good. Thank you. So... Oh, God. Are you okay? What's it? B, are you okay? I'm alright, I'm good. How are you? You look good. I what are you taking? So, where is E? Babe, I don't know, man. I'm tired. I feel like I'm in this relationship by myself. So when are you gonna stop footing his bills? And then what happens? What do you mean what happens? Do you think emptying your bank account for a man will make him see you differently? Wake up, girl. This guy is just playing with you. Dave, please, just stop, okay? You know I've invested way too much in this relationship to just pack up and quit like that. Then quit investing. You have been with him for three years and counting. What exactly does he want from you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Where did you see that cutie from? Oh huh? no! Hold on. You already have someone refreshing you. <laughs> Stop, please. You're not serious. What? Who is he? Your cousin? Because his face looks familiar. No, that's not my cousin. That's that's Diaz's younger brother now. Oh. I said I've seen his face before. You know, I've seen him on a status once or twice. Mm -hmm. oh, man, he looks handsome and pressing. Well, and he knows he's good looking too. Oh, All right. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> Does he have a girlfriend? Girl, what? Isn't he like way too young for you? Come on, who is talking about me? Besides, man, na man. And you see species like him, I know what they can do to a woman's thigh and womb. Ha! <laughs> Excuse me. Dima, how exactly would you know? anything like that come on now i've dealt with you know guys like him like i've had several flings with them and trust me when i say they are dangerous species how do you do it do what live under the same roof with a spice like that and not feel anything okay girl <laughs> Relax, because you're sounding a little twisted. If you think I'm going to allow that little boy get anywhere close to me, stop it now, please. Stop. Boy, Linda, you call that person a boy. He should be in his late 20s. Tell me, when does the society consider you an adult? Okay, wait. What are you, what are you implying, actually? Nothing, no. You know, I am just, you know... <clears throat> Letting out my emotions to tell you how and what I feel. <laughs> hey, hey. Hi. Whatever. Me, I'm tired and I want to freshen up. Anyways, so. let me get going. But don't forget what I told you about Jeremy. Hmm? Fine. I, wait, I thought you were just gonna, you know, stay for a glass of wine. I'm, I'm going. Bye. Okay, fine. Hey. Fine. Thank you. Is that fine? Uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Why is that? Hi, Sister Linda. Yeah. Did Jeremy uh, happen to mention where he was going when he left this morning? No, but I am. Um... You what? Never mind. I was just, I was just thinking about something. Okay. He's your boyfriend, right? <laughs> yeah, obviously. I'm sorry to ask, but for how long have you guys been dating? 
Uh, three years and counting. And he hasn't proposed yet. I think you should just let that guy go. From what I see, Jeremy is not the kind of guy you should hang around with. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying respectfully, though. Listen, Finn. Look, look, I understand you guys probably got off on the wrong foot. But it can happen, you know? You two alpha males or whatever. But the thing is, um, he's a very nice guy. You warm up to him. Well, I hope you're right. And I'm wrong. But I know this for sure. There's something about that guy that doesn't sit right with me. Okay, listen. Jeremy is far from whatever it is that you're perceiving him to be. <laughs> Just overthinking it. Oh, hey, um, what's the plan? I'll, I'll leave by weekend. Really? I just, like, I intended to just stay for... No. Finn, I'm not talking about you leaving. Diaz already told me that you're here searching for greener pastures, you know. You're trying to get a job, set your life up, you know, stuff oh, like that. Well, that was before I found out that there was a lot of tension in our home. I just go back to Port Harcourt and hustle, come back here and, you know, get a life without her knowing. Can we go all the way back to Port Harcourt? Is that, is that necessary? I mean, if you hang around here, I'm pretty sure that I can get you a nice job. I mean, I can get you a job. I don't know how nice it will be, but, but I can get you a job. And I have friends. I can call them. I can pull some strings. And... You know, see where that goes. Wow. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, you do have your CV, yeah? What's, sure. What's that your qualification again? BSc in Sociology and Anthropology. Okay, actually, hold on a second. Let me just chat somebody up. Oh, wow. Uh, just give me a second. Uh, <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Mr. Bio. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. So, well, I'm calling because... about him how is he what do you care he is my in-law and to think he came into town and wanted to stay here and he didn't work out i need to know how he's faring well it's not my fault he had to put up with you you mean your brother is still in town no, he's not in town. He left. In fact, he left the following morning on the first bus. All thanks to you. No. All thanks to you. And to think you lie so effortlessly makes me doubt the woman I married. Excuse me? I met him, or rather, would I say, I ran into him. We had a little chat. Yes. I can't begin to imagine why you would even let your brother stay at your friend's place. Well, he's not staying at my friend's place and even if he is, she, she has room. She has room. For crying out loud, Finn is a fine young man. And your friend here is single and desperate. Eh, 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 eh. I won't allow you to speak of my friends in that manner. And besides, what even makes you think of... Look here, Finn is a fine young man. And in a man's world, there is nothing like a fine young man. Because no matter... You hear me well? No matter how big the mortar is, the peace too will still make fine grains out of it. Well, Linda is not going to do anything of such. Besides, they're both adults. They won't pass the bounds. You see, that's the problem. They are both adults, yes. But boundaries, come on. 
you know what? I am not going to stay here and listen to this. Excuse me. I'm coming, please. Oh, for goodness sake. Finn, any day now. Uh, wind down. Hi, um, where are you headed? Good afternoon, Ma. Um, good afternoon. Are you not the ass's brother? I am. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I, I do. But initially, it didn't make sense to be answering a random stranger. Come on, I am not a stranger. I believe you're headed home. Hop in, let me drop you. All right. Come on. Thank you, Ma. Yeah, uh, open the door. So, now that you have a new job, I think your girlfriend will be moving in anytime soon. Girlfriend? Yes, girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. Excuse you? A fine man like you don't have a girlfriend. Wait, is it that you're not attracted to ladies? Hell no, of course I am. Well, what would you even think about that in the first place? My dear, it's normal to think that way. Considering how the world is recreating a system that tries to crumble its essence, else, mm -hmm. why would a pretty lady like me still be single? Well, if you ask me, I think it's just a matter of choice. For some, yes. But I tell you something. Majority would like to raise a family. But right now, the men are taking our men. Well, I'm straight anyways. As straight as sugar cane. It's just that I want to start afresh again and um, fall in love with a pretty damn cell and experience love all over again. Again? Oh yeah. She showed me love. Then she left you. I had to. A woman has a prime. We broke up when she was 24. Not like we had a fight though, but she was just way ahead of me in everything. At 24, she had a master's degree while I was still struggling to get my BSc. Why would I keep someone like that waiting? When at 26, I hadn't even figured out my life. 
Love. Yeah. If she had loved you, she would have waited. She actually loved me. And she still does, surprisingly. And I loved her. The only way to show her that I loved her was to let her go. And what makes you think so? Like I said, a woman blooms within a short span. And unfortunately, a lot of women don't realize that why they slide into menopause. The beautiful ones are not even yet born. Just my two cents though. Are you good, Ma? A woman blooms within a short span. And unfortunately, a lot of women don't realize that why they slide into menopause. The beautiful ones are not even yet born. Hello? Oh, hi, hi, Caleb. What is it? Are you okay? Caleb, you know what? Just text me your location, okay? Uh, hello? Uh, hello, Caleb? What is wrong with him? I just hope everything is okay with him. You know what? Careful. I just go be going home and don't 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 drive too rough. Drag <sighs> It's not even picking. You take it easy now. Just pray it's fine. Hey. Jeremy, babe, Jeremy, wait, is it not in this house? Probably. Babe! Jimmy! Baby! Good afternoon. Finn. Yeah, what's up? Um, did you see uh, Jeremy earlier, did he say anything about where he was going? No, but I had him mention that his flight was for 2 p.m. before I left. His flight? Uh huh. I don't. What the hell? <laughs> What's wrong? Are you good? I'm getting crazy debit alerts. He's <laughs> Jeremy has emptied my account. <laughs> oh my god. Shit. All of my life savings. Everything. He's taking every just just why would he do this to me after everything that I've done for him? After everything that we've been through, after after all the why would he do this? Oh my god, Jeremy has killed me. Jeremy has killed me. Take it easy. It's crazy. Damn. Sister Linda. Just... Sister. Please. Oh my god. Sister Linda, just calm down. Somebody tell me no. No, 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 oh, please don't be so cute, please, just, no, 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 no,
Caleb, your food is ready. Please come eat. I'm not hungry. You know, I sincerely do not know what to say to you right now. But trust me, if you found her in the arms of another man, few months to your wedding, then you should know that God has a hand in it. Ask me how. Look, a woman you did so many things for got engaged to her only to be caught in bed with another man a few months to her wedding. Trust me, God is actually saving you from a lifetime of heartache, infidelity, paternity fraud, DNA, and you know... <laughs> Dima, I loved her. I still love her. I literally gave her my heart. Mm. My soul. Chai. I was willing to, to give her my life. Huh. It wouldn't have been worth it. How would you give a woman your life? Are you Jesus Christ? Come on now. Say, thank God you still have your life intact too. And when there is life, there is hope. Please come and eat something. Don't let us are certain. See, I'm not hungry. Um, I think I should just run back to my hotel room. No, it's too late to go back to your hotel. You know you can always sleep here. I can't. Don't worry, I'm checking out in the morning. Okay? Why? I booked a 7.30 a.m. flight to Calabar, so I have to go. Ah, oh, okay. That, okay. <clears throat> All right, then. Um, let me go freshen up, then pack the food and the flags, and then see you off to your hotel. You might want to eat something later. Well, that's thoughtful of you. Okay. See, I, I'm, I'm really sorry I had to put all of these on you, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. You know you can always talk to me, right? I know. Okay? I know. All right. Uh, <clears throat> all right, I'm waiting for you, yeah. okay? All right. Are you saying that now because of sex? Doesn't matter. He can come and stay. Hmm? John. Didi. Leave me alone just because of sex that you're doing, doing, doing like this. No, now, my baby. We are come. Come now. Come. come. <laughs> just because of this. No, no now. <laughs> Ooh. Hi. Hi. You should feel better now. You know, we'll just have something to eat so that you can rest well. I see. Thank you. Thank you so much for being such a kind friend. <laughs> you know what, Caleb? Sometimes I just want to hate you, but somehow I can't. Why? Why do I want to hate you or why can't I hate you? Which one? Both of them. Maybe because I like you so much. But you keep ignoring me. But you're always quick to fall back on my shoulders each time your word comes to a standstill. Chidema. Why? Am I not beautiful? Don't I look attractive? I am always there for you each time you are at your lowest. Oh, all you keep doing is treat me like a piece of garbage. Stop it. I love you like a sister. No, no, I am not your sister. My name is Chidima and we are not... You know what? 
I am sorry I said those things. Let me just... Okay. Hey, hey, see, listen. Dima. See, I would never, ever treat you like garbage. Alright? Do you understand that? Come on, look at me. Look at me, please. You're very special to me. And... True love, I keep on falling, falling for the wrong, wrong ones. Somebody tell me when, somebody tell me how to find a special somebody for me. Tell me why is love unkind to me? I smile, but deep inside, I feel so much pain. Somebody tell me when, somebody tell me how to find a special one for me. Cause I'm running out of time. And I need to find the one. Somebody tell me when. Somebody tell me how to find a special one for me. Cause I'm running out of time. Oh, good morning, sis. Good morning. How are you all dressed up? I'm going to work. You got a job? Yup. Thanks to your friend. She didn't tell me. I asked her not to until I was ready, since she didn't care. Is that what you think? That I don't care? Congratulations, anyway. How Thank is you. she? She's all right. Um, she told you. Oh. Hey. Shin, you called your sister to tell her. Oh God, I didn't. I thought you did. He didn't tell me. It was Dima that hinted me. Apparently the girl was her ex-colleague. I warned you about this guy. I knew he was up to no good. Now look. It's not like the girl is even pretty. But can you imagine? What? Linda. 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 I'm done here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'm glad she's fine. Yes. I'm glad she's fine now. I mean, what kind of thing is this? Why didn't you tell me? Hmm? I'll tell you what. Why didn't you tell me that he cleared her account? Oh, <gasps> I didn't think I was in the best place to do that. Maybe she wanted to keep it secret. Hi. Men are scum. Apologies, but no apology. It is what it is now. Even God is disappointed in his gender. That's why I love being single. Come on, why are you being so insensitive? My dear, I said what I said with my full chest. Um, you know what? I have to be somewhere. I'll come back and check on her later. It's of the same feather. Just pay her no attention, okay? It's fine. Are you still going to work? No, I told my boss I had an emergency, so I'll just stay back. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Please let me know when she wakes up. Alright, thanks. 
Let me get the door. There's nothing I can say right now that is gonna take the pain away or make you feel better. But I can assure you, this is not the end of the world. I always knew that Jeremy guy was two faced, and I tried to warn you about the implications. Take it easy. What am I going to do? Honestly, I don't know. Will you surely be fine? I actually wanted to tell you that I've been promoted. I've been promoted to the office of the project manager. The other person that was working as a project manager resigned because he wants to leave the country. I had the necessary certifications, so he asked me to take his place. That's uh, good news. <laughs> and that means double pay for me. And look, I've not told anyone this, but things are. I'd like to be giving you half of my salary. Finn. In the meantime, you know, so you can sort some things, take care of yourself, until you're able to stand on your feet again. Look. Look, I, I know what you're trying to say. But trust me, I'll be fine. I got this. Okay. I can't. I can't possibly accept, accept hey, that. Don't worry. <laughs> Look. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't worry. Stop. Stop crying. I insist. Okay. <laughs> now I need you. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. I need you to freshen up. Eat something. Let's go out and act like nothing happened. I can't do that. I'm sorry. I can't. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Come on. Take it easy on yourself. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hey, come on, don't do that.
You good? Mm-hmm. I know you're tipsy. Just stop it. So, Finn. Finn. I know that you're in love with me. Because I'm in love with you, hey. Even though I've I've told myself that I'm older than you and I shouldn't be feeling these things, but I can't, I can't help myself. Look, when you love someone, age is just a number. So, are you saying that you feel the same way about me? If you weren't drunk, would you ever say these words to me? Well, maybe. You know, just take it that you're under the influence of alcohol. Finn, baby, wait, listen, look. I want you, and I know that you want me, and... Can we just skip all of this, all of the words and just, and just go with how we feel? Yes. Hello. Good day, Ma. Good day. Do you want you? something? Nah, you must be Antias. Sister, right. and you are Monisela, his girlfriend. His girlfriend, you're very pretty. <laughs> How come yeah. he never told me about you? Well, things can be like that sometimes. I don't know. You know, we've been good friends from way back at school, but you had a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I had a girlfriend. Now, ex, though, we're supposed to get married. Okay, so uh, you're not really his girlfriend? Uh, something like that. You know, when he got back to the city, he said he wanted us to be, you know, more than friends for needed time, so. Well, at least he was honest. And you know, he just got back anyway, so um, he does really need time. I think he's seen someone else. And you know this, how? Because I'm a woman. The woman he's staying with is your friend, right? Mm-hmm. Finn is having an affair with that woman. How dare you? Ah! How oh. dare you come into my store to spew such nonsense? So because he's asked you for time, you decided to just concoct no. whatever story you have in your head? And, and, and just fly with it? I mean, who trained you? Get the hell out of my store! Auntie... Who is your auntie? Do I look like your mother's sister or your father's sister? Wait. Get out! Get out of my store! Get out! Get out! Uh, yes. Yes. Why are you shouting at your customer like that? Who's your customer? That's one that came here and, and claiming want a big girlfriend for Finn. Oh, who wouldn't want to be Finn's girlfriend? Your brother is cute. Oh, that's why she would come in here and just cook up lies about Linda sleeping with Finn. Uh, <clears throat> nothing is impossible. You know, to be very honest with you, your brother is cute and. In the enter eye. In fact, in the enter my eye too. <coughs> um, I'm sorry. Speaking of Linda, the last time I was at her place, um, I haven't seen her since then. I've been trying to call her and she's not been picking. Mm. You know, let's go check on her. Let me grab my bag. All right, um, be fast. Mm. Ah, your brother, the enter eye, Sha. Behave yourself. Sorry. Mm. Why did she leave her door open? Linda. Linda. Let me check. Oh, okay. I think your brother is home. Really? Yeah. Linda. Why is everywhere scattered? Did you find her? She's not upstairs. No? Oh. <gasps> How can you just barge into my room without knocking? Are you all right? Yes. Tell me this is not true. Is this real? She was right. What are you talking about? Monisola. Who is Monisola? The girl I told you about that I, I, I chased out of my store. Oh. And you, so this was the plan all along. Huh? 
to sleep with my kid brother. Hey, look, I'm your brother, not a kid. Will you shut up? Will you shut up if I slap that hole on your face called a mouth? I'm on Lapugi. Hey, my husband was correct. He was right. You are a desperate, desperate woman. Hey, sis, please leave. Leave now. You are chasing me. Please out of a leave. house that does not belong to you. Are you mad? Are you mad? Look, let this be the last time. What? You ever raise your hand to hit me. Are you talking to me? The next time you raise your finger on me, you don't like the outcome. What? Uh, a big. Is it so? Let, let's, let's, let's go. No, no, let's go. go. Is it me? Is it me you're talking to? Let's just go. See, I will deal. You're very stupid. <laughs> eh? I said, what I are you doing? I said you. I said it. Get I out. I said you. I said it. Desperate woman! That's what you are! Desperate woman! Desperate woman! Nonsense! He's even trying to kiss her! He's trying to kiss her! He's trying to kiss her! He's trying to kiss her! You're trying to kiss her! Kiss her again! Let me see! Nonsense! Nonsense! Akuna! 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 Come on! She's going to go and kiss! Go, 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 go and kiss! Kiss your mother! Akuna! Tell me why is love unkind to me? I smile, but deep inside I feel so much pain. Somebody tell me when, somebody tell me how to find a special one for me. Cause I'm running out of time. And I need to find the Somebody tell me when, somebody tell me how to find the special one for me. Cause I'm running out of time. And I need to find the one. Somebody tell me when, somebody tell me how. To find a special one for me, the special one for me. Bam 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 bam. No no now. I can't be pregnant. Oh, you need me. How? Still awake. I can't sleep. You're a very stubborn woman. You're very insensitive. Do you know that? <laughs> sensitive. When I was warning you, was I sensitive? Look, Linda and Finn are both adults. Just let them be. He chased me out of her house. He's standing up for what he loves. That is what real men do. Real men stand up for what they love. Whose side are you on? <clears throat> the side that says, mind your business. Well, you mind your business. He's my brother and he's my family. <clears throat> Stay out of it. Okay, exactly. So please kindly turn off the lights. I want to sleep. I said turn off the lights. Did they send you to me today? Leave me. Tell them you didn't see me. Auntie, open the door. Oh, hi. 
So nice to see you. Yeah, right. Hi. Yeah. Long time. Yeah. Ah. yeah, right. How you doing? Fine. Ah. So that your behind is spreading like this, my What is going on with you? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you look nice, though. Yeah, thank you. My dear. <sighs> Are you gonna offer me refreshments or? Yeah, of course. Ah, wait. Oh. Did you gain weight or? Yeah. Are you pregnant? <laughs> no, no, I am not pregnant. I am not. Dima. No, be better be this. I be I be pay me. Um, who is the father? Come, please, Linda. Stop. There is no father anyway. Stop, please. There is no father. Uh. As in, you impregnated yourself by yourself, Okoya. As in, immaculate conception, Holy Mary. Babe, give me Jesus. It's been a while since I saw you now. Being pregnant at this age and this time is not a crime or, or anything like that. What's, what's going on now? Just me. What's happening? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> so you finally came to see me. <sighs> what do you mean by finally? See, I wasn't avoiding you or anything like that. The thing is, I've been, um, I've been dealing with issues with Finn. Mm. The small boy that you've been shagging. How is he though? See, stop. Oh. I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. That's a man right there. But anyway, are you not understand that when they are above 18, they are no longer boys, they are men. Abi, you don't know what you said. Eh, that's what you said now. Uh -huh. um, you know, I was right after all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me, Linda, what do you want? Because I know there's something you want to tell me. It's the ass. She's not picking my calls. She doesn't want to see me. But the worst is she doesn't want to see her own brother. And that's the one that really hurts me. I don't want any of this. Um, Linda, but you know you broke the sister code. Come on. You slept with her younger brother. I mean, you are still sleeping with him. And you expect her to be happy with you. Hmm? Huh? What do they talk like this? I don't understand. When you say Shaggy Joey and she literally lost her witch card talking about how dare you sleep with my only cousin my only cousin why are you acting like you don't remember the the, the, the hell she raised then why are, you, why are you talking like this now this is the reason why i came to see you now because i thought you understand what i'm going to that you will help me talk to her okay. like, uh, one minute <clears throat> oh, one minute <sighs> who is it Hi, hey, how are you doing? I'm good. good. Okay. Welcome. You look nice. Thank you. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah. Hi. What is this prostitute doing in your house? Diaz. Um, Diaz, relax. Relax first. No, 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 no. I just want to understand. So you now yes. hang with prostitutes. Uh -uh. Dima, your house is now a den for prostitutes. Yes. So you are now a prostitute. Ha. Yes. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. That means you are a prostitute because you are hanging with the prostitutes. Come on. Yes, come on, what? That's too much. What? This is incredibly uncalled for. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, honestly. Me and Finn, we just sparked it off, and I I swear it was completely unintentional. Liar! You are a liar! You only used Finn to fill up the gap when your boyfriend left you! That's unfair. You are such a cougar! I'm but let me tell you something. <laughs> Have you seen Finn's girlfriend? You are no match for her. She's a hot girl. So Finn will chop you like Shawana. Finn will chop you and dump you. You don't even know what is going to hit you. Nonsense. Prostitutes. Linda. A shower. Linda. Prostitutes. Linda. Linda. Prostitutes. Okay. The answer what? No, put a signboard. Put a signboard in front of your door and call it a bottle because all you do is hang with prostitutes. Yes, no it's sense. okay. It's okay. No it's sense. fine. But, but it's enough. Put a signboard outside. Let's know what it is. Yes, how long are you going to. How long before you realize that your brother is an adult? Whose side are you on? I am not on anyone's side. But come on, you've been friends with Linda for ages. And she's a good woman. 
we both know what she's been through. And despite all, she's still standing tall. You know, I can assure you that your brother is in safe hands. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You're pregnant. He got a sperm donor. Uh, <clears throat> you know, my... I don't think I can keep this a secret anymore. Are you pregnant for Finn? Ha. Ah. What is ah? Because I don't trust the two of you again. No, come on. Um, <clears throat> Diaz, promise me you won't judge me. It's okay, I will not judge you. Is it pregnancy for Finn? No, come on. How, how can? Why? Okay, okay. <clears throat> Actually, I I didn't get a spam donor. Okay. I, I think I'm pregnant for Caleb. Congratulations. What? What? K what? Caleb. Which Caleb? Hmm. Your Caleb. Okay. Okay. Rosa, I am not going to say anything. Which Caleb? It was just once. What is wrong with you two? Mm. You, Caleb, and, and, and Linda Finn, what exactly is wrong with two of you? Does he know? No. He doesn't know. Mm -mm. Well, you better tell him because if you don't, I will tell no, him. Yes, you, 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 you can't do that. I cannot do what? No, you, you. you I, 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 what? What? I, 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 I truly don't want. In, 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 please, um, yes, hold on, please. No, like, it's so much. Uh, yes, please. Definitely yes, tell him. Yes, because I don't understand. Yes, you yes, and me. Yes, yes, I'm yes, tired of me. Hey. Oh. Hey, Caleb. I see your back. Your back for your baby. Oh, what baby? Your baby, in there. Good night. Yes. Oh, just, 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 please help me help her, please. Just, just, please help me too. Just help me too. Just, please. Somebody tell me when. Somebody tell me how. Let me check. Hold on. Hi. 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 How is she? What did the doctor say? Um. The doctor says she will be fine. She was actually resting before I left the hospital. Okay. I just had to come back because I was feeling. Yeah, like... we'll, we'll go there from here. Sure. Uh, sorry, who is he? Oh, um, <coughs> this is Finn. He has his younger brother, currently dating Linda. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. It's all right. I think we can do better. M meaning? I think we can give love a chance. See, Dima, you've been more than a friend to me. I've met all kinds of girls and I end up getting my heart broken. You know the funny thing? You have always been the one to show for me. You've always been there for me. And I was thinking about it. What if, like, what if we're destined to be together. What if you're the one for me? <clears throat> um, I, I, are, you, are you asking me out now? Of course I am. <laughs> wow. Just, I know. Dima. See, I want to raise a family with you. I want to watch our kids grow. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Please, Dima. <gasps> Dima. <gasps> Marry me. <laughs> Yes. 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 Yes.
so much. I hope you're not here to create a scene. Oh, shut up! I'm here for my friend. Linda, you heard me. Why? Diaz, I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. But you let it happen. I'm sorry, I wish there was something that I could do. There is. Just let him go. Just leave him. I I'm sorry, I can't do that. Why? Why can't you? Because I'm madly in love with him and I'm not willing to let him go. I got your flowers when I woke up. I figured I was, um, and I am still pregnant. <laughs> I, um, I didn't know how to tell you what your words of encouragement did to me. The truth is, I miss you. You're my best friend. I miss you too. Put your hands down. Promise me that you take good care of him. I promise, with my heart and soul. Do you want to kiss him? Can I? Come on, good girl, you deserve <laughs> it. Uh, oh, I'm slow. <laughs> it's enough, it's enough. <laughs> Just, are you going to be regretting the kissing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. But I missed you. Oh, I missed you. I missed you. I will slap this boy. I'm telling you. Can someone tell him to leave me? No, no, no. Come on, come on. Please. I miss you. I miss you. I love you, though. I love you, though. Kiss Kelly, come here. Are we not? No. Yes. Cheers to this. Like, uh, cheers to this. Okay, one one glass missing for that. Oh, but then, uh, well, she will use my glass. Uh, okay, all right. So, all right, Linda, cheers to friendship, love, happiness, <laughs> to forever, forever. Right. Forever. Please, uh, I need to be close to my wife too. Okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. So, so we're making a party. Mm -hmm. <laughs>